Okay, well we're here um, at Ashburnham for the uh, weekend, which is fantastic, great place to come away to, and, and, and to be able to sort of listen to what God is saying to us. And we started off last night looking at spirituality in, in fresh expressions, and it's so easy, isn't it? But uh, whether it's traditional church or fresh expressions of church, to just end up doing things. And here we were looking at how we ensure that spirit, spirituality is, is still there. And to me, the whole session just screamed prayer, prayer, prayer all the way through. Everything has to be based on prayer. Everything has to be underlined by prayer. That prayer needs to be there all the way through everything everything we're doing. And if it isn't, then, then it's so easy that we end up going off on a wrong course. Then after a very pleasant night here, um, we met again this morning. First of all, we looked at uh, small size, small group churches. Um, and we looked at... Um, Small group, the hows and whys of small group churches, why small group churches were going right back to why Jesus only appointed 12 disciples in the first place, uh, why he did that and, and what the effects of doing that were rather than appointing, say, 200 disciples straight up. We then went on to look at different uh, types of small group church. Um, whether the traditional structure of church with home groups, house groups, whatever you want to call them, which a lot of us are familiar with, or the more uh, more modern um, type of structure that's been emerging over recent years, cell groups, base groups, um, uh, and how they're led, how they differ from the existing groups, how they bring people together, and what might work best for the various ministries that we're involved in. So that was quite that was quite. Uh, interesting to be able to look at that and, and not make assumptions about how uh, any ministries that we're involved in will, will go forward, but, 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 but seeing that there are options that God can use different ministries in different ways. Uh, we also um, looked at how we then make sure that those groups develop as a church, and obviously relationship was, again, very, very important in that, in terms of making sure that we share our stories with each other, making sure that there's empathy in the group, making sure uh, that we're, we're able to deal with any conflicts in the group, uh, and making sure uh, that, that there's trust in the group and confidentiality. Um, and that basically then took us through to halfway through the morning. I mean, in term, terms of where we're going with Boot Fear Church, I, I, I don't know what type of small group this will come into. It may go into a traditional uh, church home group. It may go into a cell group type structure. Uh, I think the important thing is that we remain open to where God's leading the group and where the people that are in that group feel uh, will, will serve their needs in terms of uh, learning about Jesus Christ and, and, and learning about uh, becoming Christians. Uh, we then went on to looking at a very important subject, handling opposition, handling setbacks and failures. Um, after an initial introduction, we went through a whole long list of possible problems that might occur and were asked to see whether any of those related to the ministries that we were involved in uh, and um, to add anything else that we thought of. And three main things jumped out at me immediately that I was sort of aware were there, but um, I hadn't yet really given time to think about how we were going to deal with them. One of those was my own... Uh, as so many of us are, um, ability, if I'm not careful, to overdo things, to get exhausted, to take on too much, and just to make sure uh, that, 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 that if taking this forward and all the other things we're involved in, that life remains balanced. The second thing was to, make sh was, was to deal with a potential conflict in the group between two personalities that's emerging, that's only emerged over the last week of two very different characters and it became clear that that needed to be looked at and dealt with and prayed over. And, and, and the final thing that came out, uh, and I guess this is again is so true for so many uh, fresh expressions of church, is the tension with the existing church structure, existing things that the church does. Uh, so for instance, Bootford Church will be happening on a Sunday morning, that will pull people away who are involved from church and there's a need there both to understand that there may be concerns within the existing church about that and to keep those people who are getting involved firmly firmly rooted in the church structure and being fed by that structure. So getting that balance right as well was, was a, a potential conflict that, that, that can be dealt with but we just need to be aware of. Um, what became clear from that session was that we needed at all times to 
stay true to God's call. So not to be put off when things, these things are there. Uh, but to have around you a good uh, network, of a support team of people that you know, you can trust. Um, perhaps more senior people, more experienced people, but equally... Um, uh, friends and 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 and, uh, and your own spouse is, is a very important part of that. All these people that can provide a support when when the going gets tough, because it will get tough. We will get challenged. Um, I think if if we're not being challenged, then we're probably not doing God's work at the end of the day. So yeah, we should perhaps rejoice in the fact we're being challenged, but making sure we've got the right structures around to support us.